Pretty much, there's too many bikes in my dang house and I need a better way to store them. Bikes are stacked on top of each other, so I have to go through this whole song and dance of removing one bike to get to the bike under it. Also, all of these bikes scuff the walls, which isn't great. And then when I have guests over, it's like, why well, you guys have got so many bikes just stacked up on the wall and why is there a bike in the living room? Thankfully, a company called Bike Nook reached out to me and like, hey, Zach, we can help you organize your house. And I was like, please do send those bike racks to me right now. So I've gotten a couple of offers from companies that just wanted to send racks to me, and for those other companies, I was just like, nah, I don't want to deal with that installation. All those other racks requires you to drill holes in your wall, and I'm a renter and I can't exactly drill holes in my wall. So this is the Bike Nook, it's a freestanding one, and I really hope that it'll be easy to install, require no holes in my wall and organize this house. So ideally with a bike nook, everybody in the house would have access to their bikes. All four of the bikes will sit by the window and nobody will have to move a bunch of bikes just to ride their bike because it's backed up against the wall. Here's all the pieces for the bike nook. As far as bike racks go, this seems pretty complicated. But for me, having all of this still beats getting out the stud finder, drilling a hole in your wall, and finding out how accurate your stud finder actually is. So let's put this rack together, use it, and see if it's worth your hard-earned claims. So this is the completed bike nook. I'm actually pretty pleased with how simple it was to put together. There's only like six bolts to put together and it took about 10 minutes. Let's see if it can actually hold a bike up reasonably and not have it fall over. Okay, okay. <laughs> That's pretty impressive. Are you serious? Wow. Wow, if you bump into this thing, it's, it seems pretty stable. Look at that. Just looking at the design of this thing, it seems kind of strange and unwieldy, but that bike isn't going anywhere and I'm pretty pleased with it. So let's get the other three of these racks built up to see how much space that we can save on this wall. So now let's talk about the pros and cons of the Bike Nook to see whether it's worth your money. Because the Bike Nook does cost $60 per rack, which is pretty expensive. Most bike racks cost around $20 to $30 per rack, and that can add up really quickly, especially if you have a lot of bikes. But here's what I really like about it. It's a freestanding rack. You don't have to drill any holes in the wall. And for the house that we have here, we really didn't have an option to drill holes in the wall. The most convenient place for our bikes was next to the window. You can't drill holes in a window, that'd be crazy. And then there's this side wall over here, which also has a window. And then right across from it, there's a huge wall with a table and a bunch of mirrors. So, we needed a freestanding rack to make things more convenient, and this really does that for us now. Everybody has access to the bikes, I can pick and choose whichever bike I want without having to move a bike, get the bike, and then put the bike back, and it's just a lot more convenient. To me, this space just looks a lot tidier to me now, before it's just bikes stacked up against the wall, and now they're all in neat rows, and it's nice. It Gives me satisfaction to know that my home is in order. Now, as far as space saved goes, this whole area is a lot more organized and there is more space. And it is easier to just get in there and sweep up. The real strength of the bike nook is its versatility since you don't have to commit to one space by drilling a hole in the wall. Because of that, if you want to rearrange your house or if you just want to move your storage space for your bikes, you can totally just pick up the rack and move it wherever you want. And because it stands upright, that gives you the option to really tuck it into tight spaces that would otherwise go unused, which makes it a really good choice if you live in a small apartment. Because the bike nook is so versatile, I think it is worth the money. Just know that you'll be spending a lot more upfront for that versatility and for that ease of use. I do have a couple of minor gripes about it though. Firstly, with 23C tires, it doesn't sit exactly in the rack very well, and you have to angle it a little bit. And it doesn't feel very stable. But if your bike has 28C tires or up, it'll feel pretty stable. Of course, you can do modifications to the rack to make it accommodate 23C tires better pretty easily. But that's extra work, and who wants to do that? My second minor gripe about this bike is that it requires that you use these Velcro straps that are provided so that the fork doesn't turn when it's standing up. And it's slightly inconvenient that you have to undo and redo the Velcro every time you take out your bike and put it back into the rack. Whereas wall-mounted racks, you can just put it up, 
take it off and it's a done deal. If I do get fed up with these Velcro straps, I may just replace them with toe straps that will do the same thing, but in a lot more convenient package. It might not be a great mounting option for all of your bikes since it is $60 each, but if you live in a small space and you only have one or two bikes, I think this is the best option that I've seen. So if you're interested in looking more into the Bike Nook, you can check it out at the Amazon link in the description and you can read all the reviews about it. But overall, I'm really happy with it. And Fixie Famous shoutouts to Michael Rector, Alistair McCullum, Matt Ford, Ozzy Verto, Connor Kerrigan, Merrick Drevecki, Robert Terpstra, Blue Tick Hound, Evil Ernie, Mark Vandeventer, and Jazeel for making these fixed gear videos possible through their support on Patreon. If you haven't ridden your bike yet today, stop watching me right now because life is short, but don't make it shorter, so ride your bike every day to be reasonably dangerous. Man, you really know that you live in a bike house when you get bike racks before a shoe rack.